Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 25. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change images on your website. So if you can remember from our previous tutorial, I showed you guys how to use the document.getElementById method which is a pretty useful me method because they named it exactly what it does so no, no confusion there and uh, what it does is it searches our website for an, uh, an element with an ID and then we can use that element and change certain properties of it so we're going to be doing pretty much the same thing in this tutorial except we're going to change the image source so the first thing we have to do is we actually need to have two images so that we can like swap one with the other okay so fortunately for me I went ahead and I prepared this so uh, this is the file we're working in at the moment and inside the same folder I've got this Facebook logo and this Twitter logo okay and what we're going to do now is we just need to add one of these onto our web page so I'm going to go down here to my body and I'm going to add in an image tag and the source of that we can start off as facebook.png and then we need to give it a few other attributes so you guys might know that you have to have an alt attribute with an image and we can just set that equal to something like social logo now this alt attribute actually only shows up if the image fails to load so if the compu computer couldn't find the image then uh, that's that's what shows just these words social logo okay then what I'm gonna do is uh, give my image an ID because we can't use our get elements by ID if there is no ID so let's go ahead and give it an ID of social and then I'll quickly go ahead and give my image one last attribute and that is going to be on click okay so this is going to be a function that I'm going to call so I'm going to call this function change and this will be whenever I click the image I want this code to run so I'm going to call this function called change which I haven't made yet by the way okay and that's what we're actually going to do now so what we need to do is we first need to declare this function so I'm going to go ahead and say function uh, change and then uh, we'll put in our code block over there and over here this is where we're going to put all the code to change this image so as you guys know the first thing we need to do is I'm going to make a new variable and I'm going to call it image and I'm going to set this equal to document dot get element by ID okay and then I'm going to grab this image which has the ID of social so go ahead and uh, copy and paste that and now we are free to work with this image as the image variable okay so what I can do now is I can to select my image or I can refer to my image as the image variable and then I'm gonna change the source attribute so you guys know uh, or the source property and you guys know that to change in a property I have to append that on with a full stop so image dot source is how I'm going to change uh, the source of this image and then I will set that equal to twitter.png which is the name of my Twitter logo so now if I run this in Firefox you can see that when I click on this image it changes to the Twitter logo okay so let's refresh that again we started off with the Facebook logo and when I clicked on it it turned into the Twitter logo okay so what we did was we dynamically changed the source 
attribute or the source property of our image. But I think we can go ahead and do a lot more than that because if you take a look at this now, once it's turned into the Twitter image and I click on it, nothing happens. So I can't change it back to the Facebook logo unless I actually refresh my page. So let's go ahead and make it so that when I click this Facebook image, it changes to the Twitter image. And then when I click this Twitter image, it'll change back to Facebook. And when I click on that, it'll change back to Twitter and so on and so on. So what I need to do that is I'm going to have to create some kind of an if statement. But let me show you guys something first, OK? Um, and what I want to do now is I just want to alert something out. So I'm going to alert out our image source, OK? Because even though when we put in our image source on the image over here, I'm kind of taking a shortcut. And because my pictures are in the same folder as my HTML file, then I can just refer to my image as a, the image name and then dot whatever the file name is. But that's kind of a shortcut. And this isn't how the computer sees this image. The computer doesn't see it as facebook.ping. Okay, it actually sees it as this really long file path. Um, so if we go back to Firefox now and we click refresh, when I click this image, okay, I've got an alert box that pops up. And what it did was it alerted out the source or the image source that the computer sees. So uh, we just typed in this last part here, facebook.ping, if you take a look at that but the computer sees the entire file path. So it sees C, colon, users, administrator, da, 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 all that stuff until it finally gets to the folder um, with my Facebook logo inside. Okay, so I can't use that as a condition, but what I can use as a condition is my own variable to track the images. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to make a variable and I'm going to call it image tracker. Okay. And I will set that equal to uh, F for now because we start off with our image as the Facebook logo. So we'll start off with our variable as F for Facebook. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an if statement with this variable as the condition. So if image tracker is equal to F, then obviously that means the Facebook logo is showing and we need to show the Twitter logo. So then I can go ahead and say image source and I can set that equal to uh, twitter.png. Okay. So that's what would happen if um, the Facebook logo is showing. But if the Facebook logo isn't showing, the only other option is that the Twitter logo must be showing. So in that case, I need to set my image source to Facebook. Okay, Facebook.png. Okay, and now that means that our Facebook logo will show. But here's the thing, and I'm actually leaving out something very important. We need to update our image tracker so that it will tell us which image is showing. Okay, so once we've changed our image to twitter.png, we need to update our image tracker and make sure that that tells us that the Twitter image is showing. So now we'll set it to T for Twitter. And over here, we just need to update this back again to Facebook. So image tracker equals F. Okay. So now what happens is every time I click on the image, then JavaScript is going to run this function. So I click on this image and then it's going to run this function change. And what change is going to do is it's going to grab our variable or our uh, image over here. 
and then it's going to check if image tracker is equal to F. That means the Facebook logo is showing. So I'm going to show the Twitter logo instead and I'm going to keep track of which logo I'm showing by just changing the image tracker to T. And if tracker is not equal to F, so if it's not equal to F, the only other letter it can be equal to is T. So if it's not equal to F, I'm going to show the Facebook logo because that means Twitter must have been showing before. So now I'm going to change it to the Facebook logo and then I'm going to set the image tracker to F because now it's Facebook showing so image tracker must be F. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and we refresh this in Firefox. You can see we've got the Facebook logo at first but when I click on it, it changes to Twitter and when I click on it again, it changes back to Facebook and when I click on it again, back to Twitter and I can carry on going forever. Okay, so that's all I have for this tutorial and if I went too complicated then please leave a comment in the description below or in the comments below and uh, if you guys found this very helpful then also leave a comment or click the like button and uh, if you guys didn't subscribe then please go ahead and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.